The reason the Peg Egan Center is here is I think there was a vision from Mr. Kevin Egan. His mother, Peg Egan, who passed away some time ago, was a, a great pianist and uh, she loved music. And I think the family wanted to honor her love for music and um, therefore built this beautiful facility in her name. The Peg Egan Center started actually at a planning commission meeting when I had first moved to the village. A group of people from the Eames Farm Development banded together and bought the five acres of land from Portside to keep it open and to preserve the view. They decided that they wanted to donate this to the village on the condition that it would be an orchard. And I said, well, okay, fine, but I'd like to develop an acre of this as a park. One day, somebody walked in and said, I'd like to talk to you about what you're doing there. The man was Kevin Egan, and he said, you need to have a better facility for the music. So I will underwrite the cost of constructing this facility, but there's only one condition. You have to do it the right way. And all we needed then at that point was an orchard. So we contacted Jim Sequist and said, what would you think if we allowed you to put an orchard on this property and you can reap the benefits of the orchard, but you have to take care of it and keep it in really good condition because it's in our village. So Jim donated the orchard and he takes care of it and he manages it. Uh, we have the structure that Kevin Egan paid for. And it was all made possible by the Eames Farm people donating the land in the first place. The only thing left then was to figure out how to get music in it. We used our room tax money that we collect from our visitors on the rebates that the municipalities get. And we hired Terry Lundahl to bring music into this facility. And our idea from the start was that this music was going to be free. This is going to be for us to enjoy as well as our visitors. I think the reason uh, the village um, brought me into the mix was because I had probably about 15 years of experience in working with national performing artists and uh, touring artists. So I've had um, the privilege of working with some of the highest management companies around the U.S. And I think also um, I, I worked with Kevin Egan um, and I did a few programs for him, for his family. He's a great music lover and he scoped me out and I think he mentioned that to the village, of, uh, the village um, trustees in, um, of Bay Harbor. And that's pretty much how I ended up in this spot. Hey, Mr. Rooster, said the little red hen, come back, daddy, and try it again. I just want to boogie with you. I just want to boogie with you. I thought, how do we, how do we make this spectacular? And one of the reasons I, I thought we can make this spectacular is if we're always changing and always doing something new. I'm talking, my heart beat, my heart beat, oh. I hear the sound of a newborn baby crying. One of the things we pride ourselves on uh, here at the Egan Center when we're programming is to give a, a real big variety of music. And one of the things we like to do is to mix it up. And I know a lot of other facilities um, either stick with jazz or they stick with folk music or, or blues. And I really wanted to provide our audience members with a really grand mix. So we're always trying to be creative in how we can add to and just make it more spectacular than the year before. And so far we've been doing that. We, we, we pride ourselves in getting a great mix of blues, folk, jazz, reggae, gospel. I mean, just about anything you can think of. We feel um, very fortunate to get the artists that we have been getting. It's a lot of work in doing that, and it takes about seven months in order to route some of these other artists um, throughout different venues in Wisconsin so we might get them here being a smaller venue on a Sunday evening. Corky Siegel, I have to give some credit to Corky. Um, when we were first opening up the Egan Center for the first season, um, I, I've had the pleasure of working with Corky in previous years, and I asked him, would you please, please come to Egg Harbor on a Sunday night and open up this stage for us? And so he brought the Siegel Schwal Band with him. We had an incredible audience, and uh, he helped get the ball rolling with that, and I'm really grateful to him for that. We get a lot of calls throughout the season on how how to actually find the Egan Center. And what I usually tell visitors when they're coming to Door County for the first time, or even if they're here visiting Door County, is we're in the heart of Egg Harbor. Get yourself located on Main Street, look for Main Street Market, 
go up one block and you'll find yourself on Church Street. And the Peg Egan Performing Arts Center is located right on Church Street. The show starts at 7. We go until 9 p.m. There's plenty of parking here. Uh, we've got three different parking spaces along the side of the road. It's pretty easy access to get to the Egan Center. I think our artists that come to the Egan Center are just pretty much wowed. You know, when they first walk in, they kind of take a look around and go, oh, it's a park and it's a amphitheater, but by the time they walk away and, or the time they're actually playing and the response from the audience members here are just phenomenal. I think our artists walk away just going, what a great experience. This year we've had three concerts that have gone over 2,000 people, which far exceeds our expectations. And we're looking forward to continuing seasons. And that's the story of the Peggy Egan Performing Arts Center.